How do you feel? <laughs> do you feel okay now? questions regarding my work and studies macam mana kita nak start buat business i mean apa yang mendorong sis nak buat business busy dengan motherhood at the same time nak tengok business hi thank you for answering all right so what made me want to do business is because number one i like doing business and number two because yalah being a work at home, i mean being a stay at home mom i don't have any income so I thought macam with business at least I can have something for my retirement or anything macam bila I don't know masa hari tua nanti macam mana kan so I have to have some sort of savings and um, that's why I made my own business so the number one motivation for me to do business even though I'm with my kids is just that the thought of macam nanti I dah tua macam mana if my kids apa macam they need help in terms of financial help ke, you know, maybe ada some health issues ke apa ke you know, all those in case emergency things, at least I have some savings to help them and then also my parents macam if lah, macam mana tahu kan, bila dia dah tua ke apa and they need those health care you know, all those things at least I can help them financially, so itulah yang pendorong ais sebenarnya Are you working now or are you doing full-time online shop? Thank you for your answer I am doing my business full-time while well, parenting lah kot so I'm a work at home mom yeah that's what I do full-time now Can you help young girls like me to be brave in embracing my passion although it is somehow divert from my current degree course Okay, I would suggest that you stick through your your course because I tell you in the end all those things that you learn from your university or college semua akan berguna the practices that we learn and then the macam discipline you know ikut the jadual schedule semua tu and then the the soft skills you know the presentation skills all those skills that you can never get and unless you practice it and masa you work at university or college that's the best time you practice all those skills if you want to pursue your passion you can do it while you're doing whatever you're doing at your university college methods but I have, being a mother and I can still do a business so it's possible to do more than one thing at a time you just have to have very good time management and also set your priorities right Inshallah. What do you think about UTP Kak Mars? I honestly love UTP. UTP is where I've learned so many things. I've met my friends. My whole knowledge about life started my second university, you know? So I love UTP. The fact that they're much secluded very far off, which are in the middle of Trono of all places. It's like it's an adventure. I love UTP. How you used to be an engineer and now own a boutique? Okay, I 
love my engineering job dulu. I really loved it, but I had to resign for personal uh, reasons. I want to share with you tapi I rasa macam malas. <laughs> okay, because it's like a very long story. Uh, and I did istiqorah so many days. Okay, macam dalam berapa tahun kau buat istiqorah. So you guys jangan ingat I macam spur of the moment yang I berhenti jadi engineer now. It was a while, a long time before I decided to to stop. And yeah. Now I think because I love my engineering job and I had to resign and now I have my online business pula. It's just that I don't know. Cara Allah aturkan tu I memang tak boleh nak not explain it to you guys. You know, I can be with my kids, I can do, run my business, and I get to meet a lot of people, you know. Yeah. I'm so tired. I'm so much in a book. So while waiting for Nadra to come down, I thought I'll answer some questions. Uh, being a mom, how do you find time to complete your master degree? Okay, when I did my masters, I did so night classes and weekend classes because you know, so during the day, let me be with my kids and stuff, and then malam tu, I think I come my kids with my husband or mom, and then I go to class. The so, minimum time management is the key here because. I have to organize my time, have to ask my husband and my mom, don't be scheduled which one. And then I bought DCs too, oh my goodness. It was kind of hard. I have to do it late night when the, my master I had Nadra Haja, so I had to do it when she sleeps. You should you should study for master or work first? I suggest, much in my opinion, now, what I would do is of course I work during the day and then masters at night. I mean that was what I did in the first place. And Alhamdulillah, it was okay. Tapi, when you have a child, I think when you have kids, I think it will be very... Uh, you have to discuss with your family, the arrangement and all that. like a you know it's memories and see what happened here who did this huh I said I said I said what need and then I don't know 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 I
Okay, kita anda anda barang is two thirty. And now I'm good. That's all I. I'm gonna top up my sunblock, some bit treat the coral. I'm so hungry right now. So anyway, kalau you decide to do your business or just decide to be a full time housewife, whatever your choice is. There are some people who are gonna criticize you whether you do which is something that's beneficial for everybody, be a career woman, ke, a house mom, ke, there are gonna be people just judging you and stuff. But the thing is kind from my experience, uh, which I'm even though people judge you and stuff, but it's in the end if your decision is very strong, all those judgmental would not all those judgments will not affect you so much. So my suggestion is whatever choice you're going to take, your decision, your path, make it so strong that whatever comes your way, um, criticism or even much like, suggestions that are not welcomed. You can upper you can like, swat it off. It doesn't affect you so much, you know? This is a very bad upper Bad diet. That's okay, you do. I don't know why this one to me tastes better than the black one. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so one of the questions that I get mostly asks me about financial management. I get it, girls. I get it. Because we girls, women, even guys, even children have this problem where they want to spend okay it's not that we're materialistic or something it's just that i don't know it's just fun to have something that you like isn't it okay so my few tips on how to manage your financial activities okay firstly if you're like me which i'm you're dependent on your husband's income I would recommend that you list down, okay? Just make a list. List down all the things that you need. So you list down according to priorities. The first one is probably the necessities for you and your family. And then after that, macam you list lah yang benda-benda tak necessary pula tapi you nak, perlu or whatever. And then you set a budget for it. And then when the time comes, I mean, you have to stick within your budget. If you can go underneath, that's good. But you, if you have to go above, then you have to try to work around lah. You guys want to buy benda-benda basah? You plan who you're cooking for. You know, like you know your kids come up apa, your husband come up apa. So you plan out lah, like what you need for the week or for the month. How much do you need? How long can this food last? Because kind of vegetables, memang they, it's. So especially the green ones memang akan tak tahan lama lah. So you have to plan lah apa you nak masak for the week, the theme of the week or whatever. Then for you pula, for you personally, if you have something that you want for yourself, you have to set a budget too. Okay, for example, macam I, I suka window shopping. So when I window shop, so when I find something, I macam, mm, I like that, can I have it? Mm. I would go check out the price and then I would compare the price online, see where I can get the best bargain. And then if by the end of the month I add the extra, which I'm from the Apple budget that my husband bagi, I will buy it. But if tak ada, then tak apa, I akan kumpul. And then until yang I rasa cukup and until I rasa macam I still want it, then I could get it. I get lump sum from my husband instead of asking him every week or every time nak keluar ber minta I minta dia bagi lump sum and then with that lump sum tu I budgetkan. Always remember to put aside for the important ones, okay? Remember for your savings, your savings, okay? And this 50 ringgit a month pun okay. Very good dah 50 ringgit. 
and then for emergencies but if you can put as maximum as you can go ahead okay sekarang ni pergi klinik tu pun dah 200 you have to put aside for school uh, to give your parents ke apa ke your parents ke your, your in-laws ke put aside all the important people important ones first so that's my financial tip i hope it's beneficial for you if you're studying and you want study tips here are some tips for you i gain so much knowledge from just listening in my lectures instead of you know macam dalam class just who how hang on friends but to balik class masa tu lah baru nak macam oh apa benda lah tak faham tak faham nah for me uh, pay attention in class that's the best way to remember it and then secondly practice when you have homework when you have assignments do it immediately when you get back to your dorm room or whatever room you have malam tu you pun finish it because that's the which on your memory tengah fresh lagi with whatever you learned and then when you put it down oh my god you can remember it so much better and then don't number three don't 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 study last minute it doesn't stick to my head though, macam, but if I prepare earlier macam you know doing this, this first two even with the exam, final exam that comes at the end of the semester, I can still remember because you know, kita dah belajar, kita exercise. And then lastly, um, I I learned so much, and I think I gained so much from doing study groups with my friends. Choose your study group, okay? Choose choose the people that you know that is to understand your style and you both how deep we style I'm I was very fortunate that my friends are so so kind and so helpful and they taught me so much other than my lecturer I learned a lot from my friends so that's my study tips okay okay so that's all from me I hope that's been I hope I have been beneficial or something to you guys um kalau tak ada I'm so sorry benda yang baik semua daripada Allah benda yang buruk semua from me so that's all. Assalamualaikum. Kau tak jawab dulu sekarang jawab. Ayah.